Many history books note the Emancipation Proclamation given on September 1st of 1862 as the end of slavery. However, Lincoln's proclamation only applied to the states engaged in the rebellion against the Union Army. Primarily a war tactic, the proclamation did little to advance the freedom of the slaves in the South. The Civil War continued and slaveholders failed to recognize the proclamations. Many of them relocated to Texas, which had been declared a safe haven. In 1865, there were more than 250,000 enslaved people in the state of Texas alone. It wasn't until two years later, towards the end of the Civil War, when the 13th Amendment was passed by the House in January of 1865, thus abolishing slavery. It was on June 19, 1865, when Major General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas to report that the Civil War was indeed over. The combination of General Lee's surrender and the presence of Major General's regiment was enough to ensure compliance with General Order 3, which declared. The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with the proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves and the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and hired laborer. Today, Juneteenth offers us an opportunity to learn about and appreciate African-American culture and history in this country. And it's recognized as a holiday in 45 states. It is a celebration of the achievements of African-American people that has taken many forms throughout the nation. From week-long festivals to single day events, communities are celebrating Juneteenth with food, festivals, informational displays, and other local events. On Juneteenth, we think about what it may have been like for the slaves in Texas to hear about this Declaration of Freedom. The remembrance of Juneteenth also is a reminder of the continuous fight for equality of our African American citizens from 1865 to present day. We acknowledge the painful history and intergenerational trauma that still affects African Americans even now in 2020. Northeastern State University is committed. 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 To doing our part to call out racism and injustice when we see it.